great people, regardless of age, can make great companies. A lot of our clients uh, have been frustrated with Generation Y, with the inability to find talent in this huge technologically savvy group of people, uh, there was a lot of frustration. I'd say that in order to identify the good talent, what we call transcendent talent, it is very important to weed out the good traits and the bad traits. They're the most technologically advanced uh, people out there. Uh, they're a very highly intelligent workforce, they're diverse, uh, so they have a lot to offer. The questions you ask are important, but more important are the answers that you're going to get back from the people that you're interviewing with. You also want to get into their value system, maybe their upbringing. Do they actually value authority? Who are their mentors in their life? So if they can't identify a mentor and everything is egocentric, well, I guess, guess I tell you what, probably not going to be your best hire um, because they feel entitled to move up quickly without having to prove themselves first. I think companies overall are embracing diversity uh, for two reasons. I think in the past they did it for more compliance related issues, whether it be affirmative action plans, uh, EEOC compliance, but nowadays they're embracing it because they realize that's the, where the pool of talent's coming from in terms of the Generation Y, the most diverse workforce out there, and they realize they need to go to the outside in order to bring in a more diversified idea, uh, and the only way to do that is diversify your workforce. There are many ways that we help our clients find transcendent talent. Uh, particularly away from all the skill sets, we look for the cultural fit. 